Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers campaign mode. We are continuing where we left off, trying to explore more up to the northeast over here. Last time, we pretty much completed the entirety of this marshy area. So this time, we're going to work our way up, get these pieces on the forest plateau, and then see where it leads us over here. Now, this series has been doing excellent on the channel. It's probably one of the most well-received series I've ever had. So thank you, everyone, so much for the support and how much you're loving it. You guys are wanting more and more content, and I can't put it out fast enough for you. So hopefully, you're enjoying what you can while you can. So if you're just stopping in for the first time on this episode, you're definitely gonna want to check out the rest of it. There's a whole playlist that'll put the whole series in order down in the description below. So last time we built this handy dandy pickup truck flatbed thingamajig that allowed me to carry up to like five uh, small salvage pieces at once and it was really really effective and did really really well. This time we're probably gonna build something different and I'm actually gonna start. Oh well, I just noticed look at that overhang over there. Oh, that's going to be interesting to see what's hiding under there. But I want to start by building a new and improved drone based off of a drone that I built in creative mode a very, very long time ago. Because in the last episode, we had achieved the propeller. Ooh, two power cores. I need four of these. So that's going to be eight power cores, but I have 17. So I think we're going to be able to do this. So what I'm going to do is build a quadcopter because I have a quadcopter design that uh, from previous experience that is going to be really, really effective, much more effective than my mini thruster drone that I have right now. So let's build that really quick and hope that uh, it works just as well as it did in creative mode before. Because remember, the physics have slightly changed in this new update. So we'll see how that affects things. So the only thing about this quadcopter is that in order to make it nice and evenly weighted, I have to kind of double up on servos here that I use to rotate this thing. So just to have full and agile control over pitch, yaw, and roll, I need to use five power cores. So that leaves me plenty, I think, to use four additional propellers. All right, check this out. I think this is looking pretty good. Now, I just gotta wire up all the controls and uh, hope it works the same. All right, well, here we go. I think everything's all hooked up. Let's see. Oh boy. All right, the propellers are a little they have a little bit more of like a charge up time than i remember them having but other than that this seems to be working pretty well i think one big difference i'm noticing is the rotating servos also seem to have a bit of a wind up time more than before before they had instant response now it seems like they start off slower and then they go much faster as you hold the button down so that makes like like see i can do like tiny adjustments like this without much of an effect but then once i hold it down then it just goes into beast mode. Oh boy. <laughs> I just killed myself. Other than that, it seems to be working pretty okay. So I'm going to be using this as my scout drone from now on. And what happened to my bot? Oh, I glitched out the bottom servo for some reason. But it, hey, it works. If, if it works, it ain't broke. All right. So I know I have a piece over here and over here. What do we got? Power core? Ooh, yeah, I could always use a power core. Where is this thing? Where is this power core? It looks like it's right... Oh, there it is, right below me. All right, so I'm going to save this as my new scouting vehicle, and uh, I'm going to try to use my pickup truck thing to get up this hill. I don't know if it's going to make it, but we can see. All right, guys, remember, we do have thrusters on this thing as well, so there's a chance I may be able to just boost myself up this hill. We got thrusters, two thrusters, and three dragon engines on this. So let's see. How do I use this thing again? There we go. All right, let's see if I can drag it up. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Oh, it was close. It, well, not really. It was like three quarters of the way there. Let's see if I can get some more speed build up. Oh, 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 go, go. Yes. Oh, man. I didn't know if it was going to make it. I felt like I was using my energy to get through there. Like, I'm out of breath from that. <laughs> Whew, okay, another power core unlocked, 76% complete. We are three quarters of the way there. Now there is another thing, a motorcycle wheel right over here. Oh no, it's explosive. And oh, I think this vehicle is perfect. I think we have the perfect vehicle for this because we just need this thing not to touch the ground. So if I can just onto here, <laughs> maybe not, no, 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 don't push it off. All right, bring it down. Now watch, watch this. Watch. Oh, no. Wrong way. Wrong way. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go. 
No, no, not the indestructible seat. Okay, indestructible seat has a down. <laughs> that was just all kinds of failure. That didn't go as planned. So what? What went wrong? All right, nice and gentle. Uh, nice and gentle. <laughs> Look at the indestructible seat. It's amazing. Oh, that's interesting. It exploded, but it didn't respawn back up. So that means we can pick it up off the ground, I hope, without blowing it up. Oh, I almost pressed the wrong button again. Oh, yes. Yes. Now I'm just going to keep it up in the air. Do not touch anything. Do not touch anything or we all die. Ah, oh, success. Su success. Success. There we go. Success. Motorcycle wheel is unlocked, so there's that. Um, I don't know if I'll really use it for anything, but we have the option to now at least. Okay, so now we get to uncover some new areas and maybe kill some chickens on the way. There we go. I'm sorry, but not really. Oh, wow. Wow, there's a lot. I have, I see one, two, three, four, five teleport points that have yet to be discovered. Not to mention we have a whole floating island system up there and I am saving that for last. I think that's a good finale. Is this a jump? This is a jump, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's a jump. That's a canyon. You think this thing can make the jump? I think this thing can make the jump. Here we go. I'm not getting as much speed as I planned on. Oh, that jump does not lead where I expected. Oh, no. Wait, what happens if I reset? Okay, good. Now I know that I have to go a little bit at an angle over here. Huh. Uh. Oh, it actually worked. Our bumper saved us. All right, why did I make this jump, though? Is there anything... There's nothing even over here. Where are all this? Where's all the salvage? Why am I here right now? All right, we got a uh, a, a bug, a golden bug, or a bug with gold. All right, I'm sorry, I don't. You're not my priority right now. My priority is pieces. Okay, let's see. What is this? A small tail fin. That would be useful for like planes and stuff, like small like scouting planes. All right, let's go ahead and do this. And where is... I don't even see a thing nearby. So, I don't know. I don't know where to take it. Well, let's hope that there's one along this way. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take this along with me. <laughs> I don't know where I'm taking it to, but we'll find out. I'm really getting skeptical here. I expected to see more salvage pieces around here, so I'm wondering if there's like a cave or something that goes underneath. But I see another big salvage piece. Oh, there we go. Teleporter. We got one right over here. Oh, stop it. Stop fishtailing me. It is so hard not to fishtail with this thing wagging behind me like a giant ball and chain. All right, but the good news is we have an easy to access teleport point, so we don't have to deal with it that much longer. All right, come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, another big one over there. What is this one? Power core, yes. Yes, power core. I think with this, I can add another dragon engine to this guy. All right, power core unlocked. Does that enable us? Yes. Now we can add another dragon engine, hopefully increasing our power on the ground. All right, so this one, ooh, a raw engine. I don't have much use for a raw engine because I got the dragon engines now, so there's that. All right, oh. Oh. Okay, this one, hmm, hmm, right, so if I go down, I can go up, I can go up there. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this the scrap man way. I don't wanna build something that can retrieve it from this really, really close area. I just wanna bring this thing the long way around by knocking it off head first, just like that, falling on down, <laughs> repairing ourselves, Backing up into it, uh, pulling it along up the hill and back up to where we just fell down from. That is going to be my method. All right, this one's actually, this one doesn't feel nearly as heavy as the tail fin did for some reason. This is really easy to drag behind me. I love this vehicle. All right, raw engine unlocked. So now, now where do we go? I'm really surprised at how little there was here. Let's see what this road is all about. Or do we want to see there's a gap right here? You know what? No, I'm going to go this way because this is more towards the edge. Then we can circle back into the middle. All right, so this isn't what I thought it was. I thought this was a road, but it's like a ridge instead. And it looks like there's a bit of a moat. Is this a deep? Oh, oh, that's a deep moat. 
And wait, is that a piece over here? A wedge two by four. That actually sounds pretty useful. So let me see if I can make this jump. But the only problem, oh, oh. No, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just walk. I'll, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just walk over. It's fine. Do we have access to another teleport point over here? We must. I don't see any smoke from this particular area though. All right, well, let me do my best. This is similar to the last one that we got. Let me do my best to not explode. Ow. To not explode this thing. Oh, it's a little bit higher though. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, why? I'm gonna put this on an independent control. I'm gonna add some pistons underneath it. And how am I gonna control these pistons? I have so many controls right now. Uh, I guess... Uh, <laughs> you and Jay. So many buttons on this thing. All right, so now... I can do that. This, is, this doesn't go as high as I thought it was going to. Only one way to find out, right? Ah! <gasps> I can't believe it worked. Okay. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I can't get across this moat anymore. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna travel on the land here and I'm gonna hope that I find another balloon. I'm gonna go up here. Oh man, I don't, I don't like this. I didn't, I... I, I didn't have an end game. I didn't have an end plan. Oh, there's another one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. And there's another. There's so many more explosive scrap around here. All right. Take it, please. I'm not letting go. There. Thank you. Thank you. I guess we're going to try to go for this one next. My uh, magnet down a little bit. Oh! <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the reverse, but that's what I did. Oh, okay. That works. I'm happy. That works. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. What is it? I didn't even know what I got. What did I get the last couple times? Motorcycle seat. Ooh. All right. We're doing pretty well. Let me go get this gold and let's see what's under there. And actually, what is this? Another power core. Another power core would be good. All right. Does this cave go anywhere? Oh, I didn't even see the chicken. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not. I would have ran you over if I saw you too. So there's that. Where does this go? This is interesting. This is really cool. I like this. I like this map design a lot. All right. Is there going to be anything under here? Like, this is such a weird place. It's very dark. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are these landmines? Are these explosive plants? I bet they're explosive plants. What? What was that? What was that? This is so weird. I, I had no idea. I had no idea that these even existed. That's cool. I like that. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting thing over here. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how... I don't think I have a... I don't think I have a vehicle system to get that one quite yet. All right. I'm gonna... That is a small modular wing. Not something I would particularly use, but we're going for completion here. I want to get all of the parts. All right, so let's get back up here, and uh, I'm going to try to get this other power cord that is also explosive. All right, and... Ah! <laughs> Go forward, shift a little bit, and then we lift it back up, and... Ooh. Do I want to risk jumping off? I'm going to do it. I'm going I'm to do it. Woo! Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen too. I just really wanted to see it happen, to be honest. All right, well, let's bring it back that... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I can't... I can't bring it back the normal way. I have to actually jump off of here. Okay, um, which means I'm gonna put my weight back a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna use this to put my weight back. There we go, bring it back up. Ooh, lost a wheel, but we don't need it. We're good. All right, please take it. There we are. Ooh, okay. 82% complete. We are getting there. What happens when it gets completed? I'm curious. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my drone and I'm just going to uncover what we have here so I can see what we're working with and we can use that to guide what direction we're going to go in. I want to try to do a jump and then transform into the drone and take off. All right, here we go. Ready? And... 
Is that awesome or what? I should have lights on this thing. Oh. Oh. We, we got another weird glitchy thing happening that is just aesthetic. It's just visual. Doesn't affect the function. So we're good. Oh man, there are so many. Look at how many explosive plants there are. What is this? What is, th look at this. This isn't fair. Look at that thing. Okay. Things got a little bit interesting. A little bit more interesting over here. Uh, there we go. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. I don't need to be alive. That's fine. All right. We definitely got some stuff. Oh, that's gold up on top. There's a uh, piece of salvage down there surrounded by all the explosive things. Ooh, this is an interesting area. Look at this. I'm going to go down in here real quick, but not before I get this, um, this teleport point, just so we can teleport here whenever we need. Ah, 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 no, 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 no. All right. So we got that one. Um, all right, let's go. What is this? Eye of Karoo? Let's go into the Eye of Karoo. Maybe there's something more down there. Uh, is the Gimbal Jet in the water? Oh, that's just mean. That is just mean if the gi It is. So we need to be able to... What? Hold on a second. That means we need to be able to, uh, build something. Oops. That can go underwater, pick this up, fly out of here all in one go because if we change vehicles we lose the magnetic connection so there's that but we have a little bit more of the land to uncover so i'm just gonna go right over here all right ooh, straight suspension that is useful spoiler that could also be useful and power core all right this is an interesting area as well all right and then we got another teleport checkpoint here all right let's get this real quick there we go. And power core there. And it looks like all we have... Is that just ocean over here? There's some island right there. That over here is our, the first area that we went. We have circled pretty much all the way back. So I wonder if I'll be able to finish this whole section in just this episode. Nothing of interest. Yeah, I've already been over here. Let's go ahead and turn back around. Now, there must be some more underwater, though, that I haven't actually seen yet. That's gold over there. Uh, I thought it was a piece at first. Like, this... I would not be surprised if this right here... Yeah, there is totally... You know what? I'm transforming into a sub right now. That's not a sub. Transforming into a sub right now. There we go. All right, no, no, no. Go down. Don't float. I'm no longer pretty sure. Well, let's get this gold while we're here. I thought there was a cave going in this whole piece of land, but it actually appears that I was incorrect. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. There's a cave right over here. All right. And that's gold, right? Then where's the detachable block? What? What? Wait, what? Oh, 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 there we go. There's more. There's more cave. All right, let's see. There we are. We got it nice and secure on the back of us here. All right, so let's see if we can drag this thing back to somewhere useful. I don't actually know what the closest area is, but we'll figure it out. You know what? I'm just going to take it all the way back somewhere in the area that we need to go anyway. It might take a little bit to get there, but at least we can get there. Ah, yes, yes. Here we go. So a lot of you were asking in the last episode, um, why did I put the magnet on the back of my submarine instead of on the bottom? And this is why, because if it's on the bottom, I'd be bottoming out here. But because it's on the back, I could just go ahead and put it right up on the land. Well, that didn't work quite as well as I planned, but you get what I mean. There we go. I could put it right up on the land and uh, drop it off there. And then I can hop on out and then transition over to this vehicle. And then now I could just pick this thing up. Whereas if it was underneath me, it would be much harder to beach the salvage. All right, and boink. Now, where do I gotta go? I gotta go up this hill. Now, I'm gonna take a shortcut. And there we are. And there we are, we're taking the chicken shortcut. <laughs> and now we got a detachable block. Okay, so we're doing good. Um, 
that that this one's gonna be this one's gonna be a hard one, I think. So you know what? Let's do this area first. We got power core, power core, spoiler, straight suspension. I think that's gonna be a lot of useful stuff. I guess I'll go get the closest one first. That makes the most sense to me. It's also probably gonna be the easiest. Man, they're really liking these rock pillars. But fortunately, my vehicle is particularly effective at just poking them right up the rock pillars. All right, another power core achieved. How many is that now? 19 out of 21. You know what that means? That means I need one more for an engine. Okay, so now we gotta cross this bridge and then I don't know what the terrain's gonna be like over here. It looks like we got some land bridges to deal with though. All right, let's start off with some gold. And then I think I have two explosive things in this area. I think two of them are explosive and one might be normal out of the three. Okay, let's get a overview. That one looks... Nope, that one's explosive. That one's explosive. They're all explosive. That means I'm gonna have to take them one at a time then. All right, so let's start with this one and try not to die. We're doing well so far. This is the spoiler. We shouldn't have any issues getting this thing back. All right, first one success with no hangups. First one, success with no hangups. All right, on to the second. Woo! Oh, all right. Ooh, oh wait, that one, this one over here is tough. Oh, there's no clear way. Oh, oh no, don't fall over, don't fall over. Um, oh wait, oh, there is, there is. I gotta go through there, up there, around. Wow, that's like a big old loop. Just, just trying to make it inconvenient, aren't you? Oh wait, is this one inconvenient too? No, no, I can do this one. I can do this one. Gentle. Oh man, <laughs> these things, these things are nerve wracking. You don't know if it's gonna just tap the ground in the wrong way or not. Oh whoa, no! Oh, that was close. All right, straight suspension. Also, almost issues, but no real issues. All right, now we gotta head over to that one down there, and I'm just gonna confirm on the way there that if I go over in this direction that we should be able to have a land path going there. And we can get some gold on the way too. Bling bling. All right, so by the looks of it, this is going to be an effective route that should be able to not explode this thing. This one looks easy and... Ah, no, I had it. I just needed to pull it up. Oh man. Dang it. And then right when it starts to, no. All right, I go down, then up. <laughs> Dang it. No! Okay, 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 and woo! I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh! Please, <gasps> it worked, it worked, it worked. Don't mess this up on the way back, Scrap Man. So I think that uh, that covers this island that we're on right now, once the balloon takes it. There we go. Yeah, so this island is finished, at least as far as I can see. All right, is there an actual pathway down from up here? I don't actually see one. This is like a plateau with no way, no um, land bridge going off of it. Well, that's definitely going to put a damper on things. All right, well, I'm gonna try my best to get this piece of salvage because at least this one isn't explosive. So if we destroy ourselves when jumping off a cliff, then it's just not gonna matter. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for two. We're gonna bring this one right back in, drop it off, because if it falls out, it's gonna stay there. And we're gonna also get the explosive piece right here. Ooh, I have to be careful not to run this one over. This should work. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, so now, how do we get off of here? Uh, or maybe over here? I'm, look I'm trying to look for the least steep cliff. And maybe we can like ride down it somehow. Oh, not like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh. All right, well, let's just go towards where we're gonna drop it off anyway and see if there's something over there. There are so many little ridges. All right, so we definitely can't go off of there. Ooh, ooh, I think I see the best area for this particular spot and it is not a good area. Nope, this is all just straight drop. Straight drop is a no-go for me. Is there any chance that this is a slope instead of a cliff that I can ride down? This is a chance. We have a chance here. I just gotta not flip over. What are the chances that this is gonna work? All right, I'm gonna put this behind me a little bit. 
All right, there goes nothing. I can't believe that actually worked. Now, uh, now where do I go? Okay, okay, I gotta go this way. Oh, there's bombs here, aren't there? I gotta go this way and then this way. Now I know why they have this pathway here. Oh, that chicken just ran right into me. What was he thinking? Oh, we gotta deal with these. This is bad. All right, I don't know what the proximity is on these things, but the, it looks like they might just be contact based. So that wasn't too bad. That was just more scary than actually bad. So it should be smooth sailing from here. As long as I don't make any major mess ups, then I think we got this. All right, and there we have it. Two more pieces delivered. Both of these right here are gonna require like completely different vehicles maybe i don't know I, I might be able to build one that can do both of them we'll see i'm gonna do the easier ones first we'll we'll save the hard ones for last let's go over here oh i forgot that this is also riddled with bombs all right so i think around the back there's a power core oh, oh no all right so i'm just gonna go ahead let's get this ready just like that uh all right there we go Oh boy, I'm getting my oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that maneuvering. It was like I knew what I was doing almost. All right, now let's go back forward. And look at that, no problem at all. There's no problem whatsoever. It's it's easy. All right, I'm glad this vehicle isn't any bigger because that was like just the right size and we are making progress. How many do I have? 104 out of 130. All right, so we got another one also surrounded by explosive plants, but this one actually looks way, way more open. So I, I don't have any issues with this. Yeah, this is easy mode. All right, oops. Um, all right, uh, just, just, just like, can you, uh, there we go. And I'm just gonna drop you off inside. And I guess I could go straight to this one. We can just get two in one go. All right, looks like they've also tried. Oh, oh, it's an explosive one. An explosive one surrounded by explosive plants. So all we got to do is pick it up. We can pick it up, then we can get out of here, no problem. But picking it up is going to be the risky part. All right, there we go. <gasps> no! Oh, I meant to press forward and I pressed backwards. Okay, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Wait, what? Where am I? Oh, I pressed backspace and I accidentally reset the salvage, which was a terrible idea because now I got to drive between the two points all over again instead of them just being right next to each other. I've been training for failure all my life. <laughs> this is no problem at all. Okay, so this time I'm going to try not to die. You see, last time that, that's my, that was the secret. Last time I wasn't trying not to die. But this time, yeah, see, if you try not to die, you're less likely to die. Words of wisdom right there. Write that down. Write that down. All right. No problem. Wedge two by two and wedge corner two by two by one. All right. Some good pieces. And now for the part that I am going to dread. So let's start with this one because this one is at least more visible to the eye as we're trying to deal with it. I'm just going to bomb my way over there as quick as I can. There we go. Oh, I should have got that gold while I was here. Oh, well. I know how to do this one. All right, and huh. all right, it's really hard to push it off. So if I just transform into this, go ahead and push it off. There we go. Transform back into, um, wait. Oh, oh, I can't even put it in the water. Okay. Okay, I can't put it in the water. No, 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 I know what to do now. Here's what I gotta do. No, 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 you get, you get up, get up. Oh, there we go. Watch, watch this. You ready for beast mode here? I can put it in the water if it's attached to me, but I can't leave it in the water by itself. So if that's right there, and then we transfer him back into the sub. So now all I gotta do is just back into it. Nice and gentle like. There we go. And now I can drag it over. Oh, this is a heavy one. I can drag it over onto the land that is more easily accessible to a teleport point. Just like this. All right, transform back into this guy. 
Go ahead and activate that. There we are. And uh, uh, just, I think I could just carry it right here because I got my weights on my wheels. You know what? It might be worth it just to jump this. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna jump this. All right, and huh. Uh, nailed it. Oh, no, 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 don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Almost mistake. Almost mistake. Okay, mistake is no longer mistake. Mistake is going to plan. All right, and we have successfully retrieved the small modular wing. And now, the thing that I it, uh, don't know how it's gonna work yet. I need to create an underwater flying vehicle. Well, first of all, I need to figure out how big is the gimbal jet as a piece. So let's go transition over to the drone here. Oh, 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 what is happening? All right, there we go. <laughs> Getting things under control. All right, so my question is, um, I actually need to change into build mode real quick. Do these propellers work underwater? I don't actually know the answer to that. So that's why I'm going to take our uh, diving bell and I'm gonna see if I can make this an underwater drone. The main thing right now is, do these propellers work underwater? They don't work underwater. That's an issue. And that's a big piece. That is a kind of a bigger piece. Oh, 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 oh. But the servos, the servos work underwater. All right, it's time. I'm gonna build my recovery drone using the servos. I know I don't have helicopter propellers yet, but we're not gonna need helicopter propellers the way I'm gonna do this. All right, so this is gonna take me a little bit to build, uh, so wish me luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what I've got. I don't know if it's strong enough, to be honest. That's my main worry right now is uh, strength. You see, when I activate these servos, we get a little bit of lift, but I don't need to have all that lift. I can actually manually turn it down because I have a uh, collective pitch on these things by using control and space. I can change whether they are catching more air pointing upwards or less air or more air pointing downwards. So if I'm in like this state right here and turn it on, I shouldn't go up. Well, I guess I go up a little bit. I can put myself into the ground though using this. And then I can change them to go up and then that can give me some more lift. So I don't know if this is going to allow me to um, be able to pick up the piece in this area or not. Where is it? Where is, oh, it's way over there. But I guess I'm gonna have to find out because the other thing is these should work underwater. I just don't think I'm gonna have that much control. So I'm a little bit worried about if this is gonna do the job or not. We're hovering over the hole. Uh, where's the piece of salvage? I think I see it underneath. All right, just gotta maintain control. I have no idea what the transition to the water is gonna be like. I hope this thing still works as intended. All right, there we go. We're in the water now. Holy cow, these things move much slower. But as you can see, it still works. I can still go up and down. All right, so I just gotta maneuver myself. You know, I'm gonna turn this off for now because what I really wanna do, oh, look at the bubble effects. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, those bubble effects are awesome. But what I really want to do is, oh, 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 is uh, I, I want to center myself over this thing. But it's kind of hard to pitch and yaw in this cave. All right, slightly down. This is looking good. This is looking good. All right, and uh, it's not centered. It's going to pull me back. So I'm going to try to very, very slightly go back. Now, I need to go to the left as well. This is difficult. This is, this is kind of difficult. You know what? I'm gonna say that's good enough. I think I'm attached to it now. So, well, well, we're in the water, we can go up, but can we maintain it in the air? Water has a lot more resistance, so it's probably gonna be much harder in the air. <gasps> no, no, it's, Oh, we have it right here. Oh, man. Hmm. 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 What do I do? All right, I'm gonna go back down, I guess. I'm gonna try something. I don't know how many power cores I have left. Let's just put that right there. Enter build mode. We can build underwater now. Oh, I have plenty of power cores left. So what if we actually give ourselves a boost mode. 
What if we use propellers on top of propellers? So I want to put this guy just like this. I don't know what controls I want to assign to these guys yet. And I also don't know how much power these have, but I'm hoping that it's going to be something. So basically we're going to have a boost function because these guys can work outside of water and I can get my propellers outside of the water. So let's see if these uh, are going to give us a good enough boost function. Now, what is going to be my boost? Uh, I'm just going to go with E. E is boost and it's going to be a toggle. All right, well, let's see if this is going to work. All right, we picked it up. Let's activate. Oh, 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 what's happening there? What's happening there? That's not good. One of our propellers got stuck. All right, this is looking okay so far. And then E is going to be our boost mode. Remember that. All right, here we go. And then activate boost mode. Oh, <gasps> no way. It's working. It's actually working. Okay, what if I turn uh, my propellers more neutral now? Can I still control myself up and down? All right, now my propellers are fighting each other. Wow, those are really, really powerful. That's crazy how powerful they are. I have to turn my boost mode on and off to go up and down now. Where am I going? I'm gonna go over to this one. All right, I cannot believe that this works. Just adding those propellers on there. I guess those propellers are super powerful. But the advantage uh, with this particular setup is I have much more altitude control rather than turning the propellers on and off. I can have them on all the time and then just, then just adjust the strength of them. So that's why I wanted to build this. All right. And do you think I can... No, I'm just going to fly over there. All right. And... Oh. Well, good enough. <laughs> oh, and we finally got the gimbal jet. 92% complete. Now we have... I'm definitely going to save this because I can fly. I can fly normally with these. But I also have the benefit of when I have... Uh, uh, heavy salvage, I have the extra boost mode. So that's going to be fantastic. That one propeller is acting like that one shopping cart wheel. <laughs> it's just not behaving very well. Okay, so I know some of you are probably thinking, why don't I just add uh, more wings? Well, first of all, that makes it so that they're going to collide with each other because as you can see, the space in between isn't that great. So I'll have to inc greatly increase the um, size of this drone. And second of all, the more weight I add to the servos, the slower they actually spin. So there's kind of like a diminishing returns uh, when you do that. But it looks like we have now successfully gotten every, I think everything that I could see on the land at least. I don't know if I missed things underwater yet. I probably have because we still have looks like 22 pieces left. So it might be worth exploring underwater a bit as well. But uh, the main thing we have the floating islands up there and I'm sure there are lots of pieces up there as well. So we're definitely going to be heading there probably in the next episode. So let me know what you guys thought of this. What do you think of the new drone that I built? Let me know if you have any advice for the next episode. If you haven't seen all of the previous episodes, then go ahead and check out this playlist right here. This has been an amazing journey so far. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.